Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be diving into render props a bit further as we actually start to use a render prop in our new toggle function, really expanding just how useful this thing can be. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so in this video, we're going to dive into render props, and you're going to understand a little bit about what exactly they're doing. So first thing I want to do is actually create a new file and I'm going to have this be toggle render props. Okay. The, the reason I'm making these as two separate files, sorry, I made this not JS, it's dot S for some reason. Okay. Dot JS, uh, because I kind of want to build here, right? And it doesn't matter. We can import or export anything we want and we can call multiple components toggle. So I'm going to copy everything out of toggle JS and paste it into toggle render props. Now in app.js, I'm going to import from toggle render props instead. Okay. So as, by now you should be able to see that this thing should work the exact same and it should be able to pass hello in here. So in the last video, we dove into a little bit of stuff where we were able to make this a little bit more flexible, but it still included the button here. And that's a bummer because, well, you can't style this button. Sure enough, this button, I mean, this is always going to be a button. And even if you're passing in props in here and stuff like that, it's never going to be truly flexible. So we want to take this into a zone where it's going to be more and more flexible. So how do we do that? Well, we can take a play from uh, other libraries and use something called a render prop. Now the word render prop uh, might inherently seem confusing, but it simply just means passing in a property on your component to render something. So for instance, we have our toggle component here and we're going to have a new prop in here and that's simply going to be render. Okay. Now this could be named anything. We could have this prop literally named anything. Uh, the reason why it's render is because, hey, that's sort of what you're doing in here is you're rendering something, right? So inside of our render component or our render prop here, we're going to have an arrow function like this, and we're going to have a set of parentheses. Now, what we're doing in here is, hey, this is the stuff that we want to output in our component. We want to output essentially a function. You could think of this as being like a stateless function. Considering when we make React components as stateless functions, you could do const uh, hello is equal to an arrow function, right? And then output your actual JSX inside of here, right? So doing this inside of our prop right here is no different. And because of that, what we could have is we could have a button in here, and this could be show hide, okay? And this button could show and hide something, but we could also go ahead and, well, we could have an H1 in here. And this is a show me, okay. Now let's actually just throw this all in a div like this, okay. And now our toggle component won't necessarily know what to do with this right now, because one, it's expecting some children. Uh, and right now we're saying, hey, uh, this property, what it should be doing is basically having the rendering of some JSX. So we have our render prop being set here with the actual code that should be being output. Of course, we're probably going to hit some issues in here. Let's refresh this. You can see we do see the show hide. We can click it. It's not going to do anything just yet. Let's head back to our component here and dive into the actual toggle function here. So what we want to be looking at with this function is the actual prop of render. So let's go ahead and destructure that out. So we can say const brackets render is equal to this dot props. Okay. So we're pulling out the prop render. Now you might be thinking at this point, that's super cool. What we have to do is come in here and in our divs, we can just say bracket bracket render, uh, not div, we can say render, render. Okay. Let's save this and see how this works. If we come back here, you can see a, hey, there's some things that are wrong, right? Nothing's being output. And that's because this is a function. It needs to be run like a function. So we want to have this render as a function. So that way it outputs our stuff correctly. Now at this point we do see show me 
and we see our show hide button which is excellent because what it's saying is is that hey this prop that we set as being this stateless function in here well this is being passed in here and now it's being output directly in here now are you ready to see something super cool let's go ahead and pass a string in here and just say hello scott okay so think about it this way we're calling this function here with a string of hello scott which means that in here we're calling this function which means we should be able to have access to greeting or whatever you want to call this variable. And in here, instead of show me, we can just simply say greeting, okay? Well, something like this. And now what we should be seeing is this H1 that says, hello, Scott. Uh, check it out. That's pretty amazing uh, because right now you could be looking at this and being like, man, where the heck is greeting come from? Well, it comes from this function that we're calling right here. Okay, so we are loading this component, we're setting render, render as equal to this function, and then we're calling this function and passing in some data. So, well, what other data do we have access to inside of this component? I scrolled up to give you a little hint there. The data that we have access to is not only our toggle function, but our current state. So if we want to pass that information back in here, we can now say, hey, render, but this time we're going to pass in some stuff. We're going to pass in, uh, well, you could do this dot state dot on, and you could do the toggle. So let's go ahead and say, we want to pass in on as this dot state dot on, and we're going to want to pass in the toggle as this dot toggle. Now, if you know the shorthand that we could have done in here, you might be screaming at me right now. Don't worry, we will uh, take care of that in another video. Okay, so check it out. We are telling this thing to render, and instead of passing in just a generic greeting string, we're passing in the value of on, and we're passing in toggle. And we're passing these in as properties in an object, right? So obviously this is going to break our current thing because we just have greeting right here. But imagine we had the object, which would just be like an object, whatever, right? And we could destructure the properties out of those object with on and toggle. Now here comes the fun part, because we can use on and toggle in our actual function code that we passed in here. So let's change this back to show me show me okay and now just like we had before we could have the inline conditional to say on if this thing is on then ampersand ampersand then show show me okay and how do we toggle on well we toggle on with the button on click and we want to run our toggle function Okay, let's save this and let's explore exactly what happened here. We should be able to have a working functional toggle at this point where we see our show hide, you click show me. Beautiful. And now this is wonderful because we now have this toggle that it doesn't matter what's inside of the toggle. Like, check it out. We're not telling this thing to output any markup except for these divs, which will go away, don't worry. And in here, we're telling this exactly what to render. So that means if you wanted to use this for a menu, you could simply just say, hey, uh, show my nav with a nav item in here and have this button click. I mean, this could be somewhere totally else, right? You could wrap your whole code in, in this toggle function and then have your uh, menu button here, menu here. And what's brilliant about this is that the, the markup that comes into this render function is totally independent. And these two toggles are now totally independent of each other. Show hide menu, or and then menu, uh, nav item. You can see they function totally separately. It's totally reusable. And now we have a toggle component that we can just keep continuing to use. So if you thought this was amazing, just wait till you see the next video where we take this one step further and you go on to full on render prop land and you're going to see some stuff that, well, it's going to seem like a little bit magic, but with this intermediary step that we did in here, it's going to all make sense. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to delete the second one and then fire up the next video. What we're going to be doing is diving into children based render props and how they can clean this code up substantially. So I hope you're enjoying this preview of Level 2 React. If you want to check out this full series where there is 
uh, 23 videos where we cover all sorts of things like portals, uh, some really amazing animations. We cover styled components in depth where we're creating sort of a reusable system. We even dive into the new React Context API and we build some really amazing stuff. So if you want to learn and level up your React skills, uh, check out Level to React available for sale right now on leveluptutorials.com forward slash store. It's going to be the first video up here right near new to level up tutorials, or you can see it in featured products. Now, if you want to get access to this series, along with all of these other series you see here, you can check out Level Up Pro, which is a premium subscription service um, where you can get access to all of the content on Level Up Tutorials, where there's a new premium series every single month. In addition to that, if you subscribe annually, you save 25%. Uh, so if you like the content and you want to keep getting new monthly tutorials every single month for a year, uh, check out the subscribe annually. You'll save some bucks and you'll get access to everything. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.